Is 2024 gonna be the year where we finally see inventory catch up to the demand? This is the Dana Point Real Estate Market Update for February of 2024. If we haven't met, my name is Nathan Nekoshea and I'm a realtor here in Orange County. Thank you so much for joining me. Now let's take a look at what the data has to say. So as always, we're gonna start things off by touching on some of the key details and the metrics that most owners, buyers, and sellers might be interested in. So the month of inventory is gonna be first on our list. And as of the end of January, Dana Point has 2.79 months of total available inventory. That is still giving a bit of an edge to the sellers. And that is about an 8% increase month over month. And it's probably due to some buyer anticipation of an upcoming rate cut and a few more sellers kind of throwing their hat into the ring. Now let's take a look at the list of sold price percentages. The sellers in Dana Point received 9 96.5% of their list price. For sellers, I'd like to see that number a little bit closer to maybe 98% or higher. Where we're at right now means that we're still a little bit off on pricing, but the impact of housing costs in Dana Point just can't be overlooked. After all, the median sales price in Dana Point is higher than the national median for what might be considered luxury homes. Next up is the median days on market. Homes that sold in Dana Point only spent 22 days on the market, which shows that buyers are looking in Dana Point and when they are, they're ready and willing to act when they find the right home. And in January, the homes that sold uh, sold for a median of $1,295,000. Now let's jump into the metrics that might help us see where the Dana Point market is headed going forward. All right, for new listings, Dana Point saw 42 new listings hit the market. That's a big month-over-month -month bump of about 110%. Even though it sounds like we're about to you know, solve the inventory crisis, keep in mind that that includes a lot of listings that were put into a hold or a withdrawn status over the holidays. It's good news, but it's not really unheard of to when we start the year. And then that gave Dana Point a total of 85 homes available for sale. That was a 7.6% increase month over month. Again, it's good news, but we're still only sitting with around a third of what a normal market would look like. And at the close of January, Dana Point had 25 listings enter into a pending status. That's a nice increase of 19% month over month. And it's important to note that those new pending listings only spent a median of 16 days on the market. So the total number of listings that were in a pending status at the close of January was 30. Uh, that is an increase of 25% from the month prior. It's a good sign that, that the that demand for Dana Point remains pretty strong. And finally, in January, Dana Point had 16 homes close escrow. That's down about 20% from December, but it's important to understand that Homes that closed in January pretty likely went in pending in December, which isn't exactly the busiest time of year in real estate. I think we'll see a bump, at least a small one, to that closing data uh, in February. So the story in Dana Point so far is that inventory is picking up some. We're nowhere near normal levels or out of the woods, but the demand for homes in Dana Point is quite strong. If you're thinking about buying a home in Dana Point and you're waiting for rates to drop, well, depending on your timeline, I think you're probably going to be disappointed and be waiting a while. The Fed has made it pretty clear that they're not looking to cut rates before they're ready and March is pretty much all but out of the question. The best advice to anyone thinking about buying is to weigh the risk versus reward of holding out for a lower rate. Yes, they will come, but uh, what is the potential financial exposure there? Is it possible that the price increase uh, they en enough to mitigate or even completely erase the eventual rate cuts? If you've been thinking about selling, as you can see, inventory is abysmal. My recommendation would be just talk to an agent, understand the value of your home, and weigh the pros and cons of listing sooner rather than later. I see a lot of value in being one of, you know, maybe 10 homes in your price point. Less seller competition, more buyer attention. Anytime you list, pricing is very important. So one thing to consider is how much different will your home value look now versus 
three, six, or seven months down the road. Well, those are just my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours. Leave me a comment below. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you'd like to subscribe. And if you'd like to talk to me personally, you can schedule a time with me uh, at the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.